Hi, I'm Josh Brugger, Police Chief for the Pasadena Police Department. Today is Monday, April 6, 2020. I'm here to update you on what's been happening in the city of Pasadena, but specifically with the Pasadena Police Department. As you're aware by now, on Friday, the Centers for Disease Control issued a recommendation that when citizens are out in public, they should wear simple cloth face coverings. With that in mind, I've now authorized our officers to wear a face mask whenever they're out in public on duty. So as you're out and about, you may see officers with masks on uh, with more regularity. The other question that I've gotten quite a bit is, is crime up or is crime down? Um, during this event, Today, crime is down, but that doesn't mean it's completely gone away. Just for example, over this past weekend, we made six DWI arrests, arrested two different individuals for aggravated assault, arrested someone for discharging a firearm in a municipality, uh, made an arrest for an aggravated robbery, um, and one arrest for injury to the elderly. So as you can see, crime is still going on. Um, we're asking, of course, you know, folks to stay home to the extent possible. From March 21st to yesterday, we've responded to 50 calls for services um, with allegations of, of people believed to be violating um, the executive order either issued by the county judge, the governor, or the mayor. Obviously, this ties up valuable resources, uh, and, and so again, we're asking people to stay home to the extent possible. Uh, most of the calls that we're getting on businesses um, are questions about whether or not they're essential, um, and what you know we're directing our folks to do is send people to Texas Department of Emergency Management's website. Um, it should pop up here on the bottom of the screen. It's www.tdem.texas.gov forward slash essential services forward slash. If you believe that you are exempt from the order and, and are an essential business, um, go to that website. Uh, you can click on the order. And if you still believe that, that you should be exempted, um, there's a link at the bottom that you can click, um, fill out some information, submit it to the state for consideration. The other complaint that we're getting quite a bit is on the businesses that are open, um, not complying with social distancing guidelines. As everybody should be aware by now, you know, it's recommended that you, know, you stay six feet away. I also know that the local grocery stores and uh, the big box stores are asking that you know, when people have to go shopping for essential goods, that only one family member goes and, and you know, to limit the amount of people that are going into the stores. As I've been out and about in the community, um, one of the things that I've noticed is a lot more of our citizens are beginning to wear gloves and masks. Um, with that, I think it would probably be appropriate that our health and safety officer, Officer Jason Mitchell, um, come to you and, and show you the proper way to wear a mask, how to take it off. Same thing with latex gloves, because if you're not doing it the right way, it defeats the purpose. And so I, just a few minutes of your time, I think might go a long way in the proper use of gloves and masks. Please understand that when using your mask or your gloves, this does not take away from the importance of social distancing as well as proper hand washing. When placing your mask, you want to take it, make sure it's clean, not torn, make sure there's not any defects in it. You place it over your nose, crease it across your nose, take it and hook it behind your ears. At that point, pull it down so it covers your face, make sure it's sealed over the top of your nose. You want to do this first, before you put on your gloves. You'll then put on your gloves. Because they're clean gloves, you're just gonna place them like you normally would. Making sure again that they're not torn or defective in any way. Now the important thing to do here is understand that if you've touched anything or handled, the, handled anything with these gloves that you need to take them off properly. To do so, grab in the center of the glove and pull it in on itself. You then hold that glove in this hand. You slide two fingers underneath the other glove and pull it back on itself. By doing so, anything that was contaminated remains in the glove and you dispose of it properly in the trash can. When take, after you do that, you need to wash your hands. And then you can come up here, you grab the hooks behind your ears and pull it off your face and you dispose of the glove, I mean, excuse me, the uh, mask properly in the trash. Thank you very much, Jason. We are all in this together, and as, you, as you've seen, these next couple weeks are gonna be very important in, in making sure that we do continue the social distancing, and, and really we do double down our efforts right now. Um, at the end of the day, we're still here, we're gonna protect and serve, 
And, and if you need us, give us a call and we'll come. And, and thank you very much.